So Nikon finally decided to upgrade its Nikon Z50. Right here. This came out in 2019, and I do not know why Nikon, why, that you did not have video autofocus eye tracking, right? As you can see, I'm recording right now with my Nikon Z30. And with a simple firmware update, hey, now I can suddenly have a video eye tracking when I'm recording in video. Go figure. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to set both cameras, my Nikon Z30 and my Nikon Z50, to a head-to-head -head eye and face tracking autofocus test all on video. And we'll show you exact settings. They're going to be on the exact same settings. The only difference is if these two cameras are the exact same sensor and body with just a little couple touches of a body modifications, i.e. no EVF, we should get the exact same results, right? So the easiest way to have you check your autofocus sensitivity is you go to uh, the pencil icon, movie, autofocus tracking sensitivity. I'm gonna put it at four for this one. Straight dab into the middle, autofocus speed is at five. And that's the exact same settings that I have on my Nikon Z30. So first is I have my Nikon Z30, 1 over 60 settings, as you can see, 3.5 aperture, 200, and the autofocus settings is at plus 5 and straight in the middle for sensitivity, aka 0. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move my microphone, and as you can see, it lost my eye, it went to face. Now you see me, now you don't. At uh, max, 2,560. Unsurprisingly, it's still tracking my face pretty darn well. With eye detection, but of course it did a, a difference. Still tracking from my face, completely fine. So uh, right now I'm recording on the Nikon Z50 kit lens, exact same settings, and now we're gonna see the autofocus in terms of eye detection. One of the major reasons that I actually upgraded to the Z30 is because of this microphone, right? Instead of tracking my face, it would track the microphone because it would mistake this as a face. So now with the improved autofocus, whoa, is it, tr it tracked there for a second. Do you see that? It's getting confused. If I lower the microphone down, it should be less of an issue, I hope. And that, guys, was my Nikon Z50 versus my Nikon Z30 video autofocus test. Which one did better? I think they did the exact same. But once again, I am so much more familiar now with the flippy Audi screen. Both cameras are great. Check out the video which one I actually consider. Should you get this one or the Z50 or Z30? Check that video out. Check the camera out in the description below. And... Finally, Nikon. That's all I got to say. <laughs> My name is Peter. You're watching a Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing.
but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.